Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special news report. That's right, it's the best news, and the news you've all been waiting for, it's the return of aged Knob Creek store picks. That's right, the rumors that have been circling have been found to be, in the words of Mari, you are correct. So, let's take a look at what we got tonight. There it is. Take a gander at the age statement. It is an 11-year-old Knob Creek store pick, purchased in 2023 and selected in 2023. So let that sink in. This is 2023, and we're back to 11-year store picks on Knob Creek. I can't be more excited, and I hope you are as well. So this one was uh, purchased from the finest establishment in Maryland, Drug City Liquors. Uh, but this was uh, selected by Who's There and comes with a, a hilarious tater sticker. The proof you can handle proof. That's right. These are high proof buggers coming in at 120 proof, compute, compute 60% alcohol by volume, but you already knew that. Uh, these bad boys are $59.99 or 60 doll hairs if you don't want to hear the, the sense in there. Um, again, there was a few on the shelf when I was there, so if you, if you live near Maryland and you live near uh, you know, Drug City, maybe pick one up. We'll find out tonight during the tasting, but it is an 11-year Knob Creek store pick. Which I know they used to do 12-year, 13, 14, there used to be 15-year store picks, but those have been dry for quite some time. And really all you could get was like 9-year, nine 9.5-year nine maybe at the most. That's all you were getting. Um, but I'm happy to report that now it seems some age stock is becoming available again. For the single barrel program so that's the excitement tonight and we're gonna blind this against my old one so here's my old one you've seen this bottle before it's from Creston's in Delaware uh, this one you know again 120 proof but this one is about nine and a half years it's well not it's not even nine and a half it's less than nine and a half but this is kind of the standard of which we could get for the past couple years was a nine nine point three year something in their range pretty good pretty solid for anywhere from from 50 to 60 bucks uh, it was solid bourbon. I enjoy it. But it wasn't quite as good as those old aged ones. So, we're going to put this bad boy up against that 11 year. And we'll see if we can tell a difference. And uh, let's see if Knob Creek's return to form. So my wife lovingly poured these. And by lovingly, she huffed and gruffed and poured them and said, Get it done. You know, we got shit to do. So, here we are. Let's give it a nosing. Oh, a lot of caramel in this one, brown sugar. Nice little backbone of oak, but it's not its not massively oak. It's just that quintessential Knob Creek profile. Little nutty, little nutty in there, little peanut shell. It's all peanut shell, caramel, peanut brittle, if you will. A little bit of oak. Delicious and just what I would expect from Knob Creek. Let's take a sip. Delicious. It's what I said on the nose. A lot of caramels, brown sugars, kind of like pecan brittle in there, peanut brittle. Um, a little bit of oak on the backbone, kind of the Knob Creek profile. Very delicious. Excellent value and an A rating on Bourbon Bill. So that one didn't taste necessarily overly old from Knob Creek. So I don't know. Till we taste the other one, maybe they don't taste younger. I don't know. Uh, what I'm going to guess. I'm tasting the first one that that is the nine year. All right, in the green, let's give it a nosing. Oh, this has a little bit different nose on it. It has some confectioner sugar. There's a lot of caramels, but there's a little bit of like a red fruit note going on. I mean, it's nutty, too. This kind of reminds me of, like, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This smells like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof um, more than Quintessential Beam. 
Smells a little rich on the nose. Let's take a sip. Oh my god. Ooh, that is delicious. Felt a little creamier on the mouthfeel. Big oak flavors on this one. Uh, much bigger oak flavors. Huge punch of, of caramel and brown sugar. So, it, you know, it's going to be similar. But there's a nice red fruit note in here. The nuttiness was dialed back. Definitely felt thicker on the mouthfeel. Drank easier. Did not drink as hot as actually the other one. And produced some nicer oak flavors. I'm going to guess that's the 11 year. Definitely the green glass wins tonight. Thicker in the mouthfeel. Drank a little bit under proof, honestly, for 120. Bigger oak flavors and deeper, darker, and richer, just like we like. And going back and forth between them, you know, the reverse way, the blue glass did come off um, then a bit younger. It just didn't have that as much oak presence as the other one, which to be expected with the age difference. If I'm right, let's get the answer key and find out. All right, tonight our winner in the green glass was the 11 year. So there you go. I'm happy to report that um, certain stores are getting access to these again. So if you've been very sad and just crying yourself to sleep at night, hanging on to the last in your bunker of those old 14, you know, 13 year picks that were phenomenal, there's a step in the right direction. Are we at that 14 to 15 year age range? Don't know, haven't seen it. Um, but this is now, I've seen one that was a 10 year, saw this 11, had to jump on it. Uh, that's the oldest one I've seen personally in my area. Let me know if you've seen some older ones, uh, you know, recently, not, not the old bottles, obviously those are not being currently produced, but if you've seen, you know, newer ones in, in an older age range, certainly let me know. But this is great news and we hope Knob Creek heads in that direction some more, but that's not all. So I figured one year older, but... 20 proof points less. Let's compare that new 11 year to a little Knob Creek 12. The darling of many and myself. We'll put it here in the mini. Now this is quite an exceptional bottle of the 12 year. At the 12 year here. So it is a little bit lighter on the nose. It's not as heavy. Honestly that's because of the proof but this just has such quintessential sweet oak flavors. And it, it, it seems to have just a little bit more fruit component uh, to it. A little bit brighter um, stone fruits perhaps to this one. And then just loads of caramel. And baking spices. And brown sugar. Just that Knob Creek profile but it's just elevated by some lighter fruits and a little bit more oak. Let's take a sip. Ooh. Dang, that 12 year is so good. So much oak in that. Just delicious. Waves and waves of sweet oak. Easily crushes a 9 year. Back to our 11 year here. This is all, like I said, this is more of an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof profile. It goes more towards like the red fruit notes with the confectioner sugar and the caramel in there. Oh man. The 11 year wins. As much as I, I think that's a fantastic bottle of 12. I've had some mediocre bottles, but that is a fantastic bottle. This 11 year has almost the same amount of oak, but just deeper, darker, richer flavors, thicker on the mouth feel. It just does not drink 120 proof. I'm really pleased by this pick. So, Drug City or uh, Who's There? I'm here for this pick because it's delicious. And I and I I love this sticker. I mean, you gotta watch that movie. You can't handle the truth. You can't handle proof, son. So if you like what we saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button, everyone. Thanks. Have a good evening.